Solar Orbiter will take off on a United Launch Alliance Atlas V rocket. Again, they're poised and nearly fueled, ready for flight. This is an international collaborative mission between the European Space Agency and NASA. The spacecraft has been developed by Airbus Defense and Space. ESA's Engineering and Test Center in the Netherlands is managing the development effort. And the European Space Operations Center in Germany will operate Solar Orbiter after launch. Solar Orbiter's flight will take it to roughly 26 million miles from the Sun, or about 42 million kilometers. That's just over one quarter of the distance from the Sun to the Earth. It will experience sunlight 13 times more intense than we feel here on Earth. And to survive, it is equipped with a heat shield capable of withstanding temperatures over 900 degrees Fahrenheit, or about 500 degrees Celsius. The scientific conductive will range from analyzing solar winds and solar magnetic fields to remote sensing and high-resolution imaging of the sun's atmosphere, the corona, and even solar disks. One phenomenon to be explored is that the sun goes through an 11-year cycle that evol involves emerging and vanishing sunspots, as well as a flipping of its entire magnetic field. Why does all of this happen? Well, we're hoping Solar Orbiter will shed some light on that. The mission intends to answer some fundamental cause and effect questions like, how do how do flares and coronal mass ejections impact our solar system, and how do the energetic particles originate that lead to extreme space weather? The answers to these questions can not only have a direct impact on our daily life and the electronics you rely on, but also impact future exploration as we pioneer to the moon, Mars, and beyond. Status check. Go Atlas, go Sitar. Go Solar Orbiter. There you heard the final status check for Booster Centaur and the spacecraft. Everything is good. And so here we go. T minus 10 seconds. 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. And liftoff of our solar orbit and international collaboration to give us new images and a better understanding of our life giving star. Good report so far, and it's fine. We get five seconds in. Vehicle is completing the pitch over maneuver. Now, 41 seconds into flight. 45 seconds into flight, everything is looking good. Now two minutes, 35 seconds into flight. At three minutes and 25 seconds. And the second stage RCF system press valve is opened. 
System now pressurizing to flight levels. Flying over 5,000 miles per hour. Now three minutes into flight, approximately one minute remaining until Pico. He's talking about main engine cutoff. One minute. RD-180 continues continue. to look good. It, uh, pump speed and injector pressures look good. Three minutes, 15 seconds in. All right, about to cut that booster. Vehicle body rates Just look stable. Seconds. Now three minutes, 30 seconds in. Already 180 now throttling to maintain a constant 5G acceleration limit. Engine response looks good. And we've begun boost phase chill down. Now throttling to a 4.6G acceleration limit. Boost phase chill down is ended. Standing by for Pico. And we have Eco who's drenching cut. Ten seconds, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. And liftoff of our solar orbit and international collaboration to give us new images and a better understanding of our life-giving star.
Now look to your screen and you'll see it. There it goes. The solid rocket booster. Alice 5 has gone to Q-Alpha limited closed loop steering. Vehicle body rates look good. Now the next major milestone is... Now 2 minutes 35 seconds into flight. And 3 minutes and 25 seconds. And the second stage RCF system press valve is opened. System now pressurizing the flight levels. Flying at over 5,000 miles per hour. Now three minutes into flight, approximately one minute remaining until Pico. And he's talking about main engine cutoff. One minute. Are you 180 continues to look good? At, uh, pump speeds and injector pressures look good. Three minutes, 15 seconds in. All right, not to cut that booster. Vehicle body rates Just look stable. Seconds. Now three minutes, 30 seconds in. Already 180 now throttling to maintain a constant 5G acceleration limit. Engine response looks good. And we've begun boost phase chill down. Now throttling to a 4.6G acceleration limit. Boost phase chill down is ended. Standing by for Pico. And we have Eco with the engine cutoff, standing by for standby. Atlas Centaur separation. And we have good indication of Atlas Centaur separation. Go Atlas, go Blue Centaur. Go Solar Walker. There you heard the final status check for Booster Centaur and the spacecraft. Everything is good. And so here we go. T minus 10 seconds. 9, 8, 7, 6, 5. Four, three, two, one, zero, and liftoff of our solar orbit and international collaboration to give us new images and a better understanding of our life-giving star. Now we can hopefully contact the ULA's launch committee.